Hey, fourth graders. My name is Ms. Tremell, and I am going to be with you throughout the month of September for Number Corner. You may have heard of Number Corner before, or maybe you haven't, and this is going to be your first year. But don't worry, because Number Corner consists of different math workouts to help us become better and more efficient mathematicians. In Number Corner, we'll do workouts like looking at the calendar, we'll do some computational fluency, we'll work through some problem strings, we'll solve some word problems together, and we'll be creating a collection of our own. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. We are going to start off on Number Corner for the very first day of school on September 8th by looking at the calendar. Here is our calendar. Every day we're in school for September, we will turn over one of the calendar marker pieces and we'll be taking, making some observations about what's happening on those calendar grid markers. And then we may have some conversations about what we think is going to happen next, what patterns have been um, displayed thus far, and then that'll turn into more conversations about how we can notate that mathematically. So before we get started with September 8th, let's look and see what the calendar markers for the other days of September have looked like thus far. As I show them to you, I want you to just make some observations silently to yourself. If you have a notebook with you, you can, you're more than welcome to write this down or write some of your thoughts down about things you see, and then we'll talk about it very briefly. Are you ready? Here we go. September 1st. Hmm. September 2nd. September 3rd. Are you seeing any patterns yet? What do you notice so far? Oh, so you see some tally marks. Okay, an upside down U, great. Some people may call that a horseshoe. What else do you notice? It, it does look like it's on some kind of funky paper. Let's keep going. September 4th, can anybody add anything to what they've noticed so far? Oh, so you see one tally and one horseshoe when it's a one, two tallies, two horseshoes for two, three tallies, three horseshoes for three, and so on. So if that's the pattern, what do we think the fifth would look like? I'll give you a peek. Were you right? Does anybody see an issue with this pattern continuing in the way it is? Oh, you think the pictures are just going to get smaller? Maybe. Let's keep going just to see. Looks like some of your predictions were right. Every day has that many tally marks and horseshoes. Very good. September 7th. You're right, that card is getting really full. So that brings us to today's date, September 8th. I'm going to give you a moment to look at it. And let's see if our pattern is continuing. All right, if you need more time, you're more than welcome to pause this video. But so far, what we've seen are some of the predictions you guys have made seem to be correct. Every day has that number of tally marks and that same number of horseshoes. I wonder what those stand for. Do you? Well, that's gonna wrap up our calendar grid talk for today. Every day of school in September, we will update the calendar, but we will not specifically talk about what's happening. You'll be responsible for making observations on your own, and then when we get back to Calendar Grid on another day, then you can share those predictions or those observations that you've made, and we'll continue to add on to what we already know is happening in Calendar Grid. The next warm-up that we're gonna be doing today is called computational fluency. 
right. Computational fluency is the ability to solve number problems efficiently and accurately. That means you can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can divide quickly and get the right answer. Can you do that? If you can, that's great. If you're not there yet, that's okay because that's what we're here for. These workouts or the workouts during computational fluency are gonna help strengthen our number sense and make sure that we can become or help us to become better mathematicians so that we can solve problems more efficiently and more accurately. So we are going to look at the number line And tell me some things you notice. Great, it goes from zero to 100. Awesome. Any other observations? Oh, the number line does, you're right. It goes on forever in both directions. To one side, we have negative numbers, and the other side are all positive numbers. That's a very good observation. Is there anything else? All right, well, we're gonna start with our first warm up with the number line, and that is so simple counting by twos. Will you count by twos with me? Okay, when we count by twos, you'll notice my finger is going to do this motion right here. And that means we're going to continue counting forward. It also help you keep the pace so that we can all count together. If you see me do this, that means I want you to stop where you are and we may change things up a bit. Are you ready? Here we go. We're counting by twos and we're starting at two. Go. Two, four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. And we're going to stop right there. You've done a great job so far. But we're going to change it up a little bit. Do you think we can go a little faster? We're going to speed it up just a little. So we're at 40 right now. Here we go. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. We're going to stop there again. Are you with me still? Okay. This time we're gonna speed it up a little bit more. Do you think you can handle it? We're at 70. Here we go. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 96, 98, 100. And we're gonna stop there. You guys did an awesome job. You know what else you did? You counted the multiples of two. Do you know what a multiple is? Let's see you're right. A multiple is a number that is the product, which is the answer we get when we're multiplying, of a given whole number and any other whole number. So just to put that in a little uh, terms that may make more sense to you, the answer that we get when we multiply a number by a given number. In this case, since I said you just counted the multiples of two, then two is our given number. So anytime we multiply two by any other number, the answer we're gonna get is called a multiple. What is the answer called that we get? Right, it's a multiple of that number. It also says a number that may be divided by a given number without a remainder. So if I have a number, and in this case we're still talking about two, if I divide that number by two, the answer I'm gonna get is a multiple of two. We're going to create a key to help us recognize and remember the multiples of two. Because as the month goes on, we'll also add some different multiples and we wanna be able to make sure we can identify which multiple goes with what number. 
So in order to do that, we're going to look at this number line here. And I'm going to make myself a little smaller. And we're going to count by twos just like we did before. But this time, I am going to um, label our number line so that we know what multiples of two are. Before I do that, or while I'm getting ready, I want you to think to yourself, how many multiples of two are between zero and 100? What do you think? 100? No. That would mean we counted 100 numbers between 0 and 100, and we know we didn't do that. We counted by twos. Guess we're going to have to figure it out. So here we go. We're going to start counting by twos. Um, well, I scratch that. We're actually going to count by ones. And when we get to a multiple of two, we're going to change our voice so that we know what a multiple of two is and what's not a multiple of two. So we're going to start off like this. If a number is not a multiple of two, we're going to whisper it like this. If a number is a multiple of two, we're going to say it out loud like this. So I'm going to show you, starting at zero, oh wait, is zero a multiple of two? You say yes, how come? Ah, because you can multiply two by zero and get zero. You're right, zero is a multiple of two. So here's what it might sound like if I'm counting by ones and emphasizing the multiples of two. Zero, one, two. Do you guys think you can handle that? While you're counting, I'm gonna label, or I'm gonna create our key here in blue to label the multiples of two. You ready? We're going to start with two since I've done that one for you already. Here we go. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. You guys counted by ones, and we've already labeled multiples of two so far between zero and 20. So my question to you is, how many multiples are between zero and 20? Did anyone say 10? Let's check and see. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you said ten, you are right. There are ten multiples between zero and twenty. But we need to figure out how many multiples of two are between zero and one hundred. So we're going to keep going. Except for this time, we're going to just to make it a little more fun or to spice it up a little bit. We're going to continue counting by ones, emphasizing the multiple of two by changing up our voice a little bit. I'm going to talk like this, like I'm British. What, what might you do? All right. As long as you keep up with me, then we're good. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. 21. Oh, let me get my pen ready. 22. 23. 24. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We're going to stop right there. Are you still with me? So now, how many multiples of 2 do we have? What was that? You say 20? How do you know? So because there were 
10 multiples here. I'm going to label that. Ten multiples here, then there has to be another ten in between twenty and forty. Let's double check. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You're right. But you know what I'm wondering now? Are all the multiples even? Or excuse me, are all the multiples of two even, odd, or are they both even? and odd. Even, right! We know even numbers end with, in the ones place, there's a 2, 4, 6, 8, or a 0. And that's what we've seen thus far with our multiples of 2. You got it. So let's continue, but this time we're going to kind of clap like you do in B-I-N-G-O, you know? So we're going to clap in place of the number that's not a multiple of two. We can still whisper it just to make sure that we keep ourselves on track. And then when we get to multiple of two, we're still gonna shout it out loud. Are you ready? Okay. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Good job. We're going to continue counting, but this time we're just going to count like normal, like we started. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Oh my gosh, guys, we're so close. So you know what? I think I want to sing these last multiples of two because I'm so excited that we're almost there. So if you want to sing with me, I would love for you to. If you want to continue counting like normal, that's fine as well. As long as you're making the effort to stay with me and to continue counting by ones so that we can label our multiples of two. So here we go. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're done, guys. We did it. But now, can you figure out how many multiples of 2 are between 0 and 100? We know that there were 10 in between 0 and 20. And then another 10 in between 20 and 40, which gave us 20. So how many between 0 and 100? 100? Did anybody say 50? If you did, you're right. Because there were 10 from 0 to 20, 10 more from 20 to 40, 10 more from 40 to 60, 10 more from 60 to 80, and then 10 more from... 80 to 100, and if you notice, we changed up what, how we counted for each set of 20. So if there are 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 50, or 10 times 5. You guys did a great job today. Thank you so much for participating and making the effort to do so the whole video. I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. When we come back for Number Corner, we will do some different workouts. And when we come back to this number line, we'll be adding multiples of three. So what is a multiple again? Great. The product or answer you get when you multiply a number by a given number. Awesome job. Great job today. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.